Hello everybody and welcome back to Siberia 2 for part 13. Now, thanks for all your hints and tips in the previous video's comments. Because of those, I think I know what I need to do for a couple of things down here in the cavern amongst the Yukals. First things first, we need to go see this spirit woman and hands before he makes his final journey. I think time is of the essence here, so what we need to do is we need to stop this water wheel. And there is something quite big I overlooked last time. Um, you may be able to see a dangling icicle just hanging from the ceiling here. For some reason I didn't see this last time, but I think this is the entire reason I constructed the slingshot. So, although I don't think I've got anything to sling, unless it's the Russian doll, or, you know, shoot at it... Yep, it works. Okay, maybe that's not a problem. How are you going to do this, Kate? Oh, right, the rock on the floor. Very convenient. How's your aim? Any good? Pretty good. <laughs> Perfect landing. It stops the water hitting the water wheel, the drum beats stop, the sticks are up so I can pass underneath. This is a great start. Hopefully it continues throughout the rest of the video. I must confess, I did do some experimentation before recording, but we'll get to that later on. Oh my god. Hans! Ah, Miss Kate Walker. What the fuck? We waiting. Why is he suspended above a bed? Can't you just let him rest in peace? Well, actually, probably not the best choice of words, honestly. I think you've got some explaining to do, little spirit woman. What's going on here? Ah, Miss Kate Walker. Yes. How did you know my name? You know me? <laughs> Miss Kate Walker expected here for a long time. But how do you know my name? <laughs> tuk tuk. Magic ears. Magic ears? <laughs> Miss Kate Walker talking sleep. Oh, <laughs> alright. Really? What, and I discussed my full name? Did I give you my bank details as well? What's going on? What happened to Hans? Seriously. You could find Hans lost in snow. He very weak. Is he sleeping? Hans in other world. In dream world. In dream world? What? You don't mean that he... Hans make journey to country of ancestors. No, that's impossible. Hans abandon fight. There must be something. We have to find a doctor. No point, Miss Kate Walker. Hans already choose. Did he choose to get tied up in all this stuff, though? I... I... I Halfang. There's this big white bird. It seems to have been following me since I left Romansburg. Oh, really? It's the same Har one? Thang. Guardian spirit of Yuko legends. Oh, I didn't realize. Well, if he's been following me for so long, that must mean we're on the right track. Might be, Miss Walker, but it's only a bird. <laughs> so that was the same. I hope not. I'd like to believe in legends and miracles in this case. So that bird, that was the one that the Yuki was chasing, you know, a couple of videos ago. <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the mission. I've got to find some way of helping Hans. Late, Miss Walker. Very late. Hmm. Hopefully not too late. You say that the Harfangs are spirits from your legends. Okay. But then, why are there perches all over the village? <laughs> Even legend get tired sometimes. That's what they are? Spirit. Waiting sign. A sign, you say? If Miss Kate Walker wants spirit near, she calls spirit with music. Okay. Oh, music. Now I have to make some music. Thank you. How do I do that? Oh, can I borrow your drums? Tell me about the long tunnel of dreams. Tunnel of dreams lead to country of ancestors. Isn't there any way to get Hans out of this stupid corridor? Hmm. Not possible, Miss Kate Walker. Hans entered corridor all alone. Not one come back. Yeah, but there must be some way he can be made to see reason. Only one way. You go talk hands in Tunnel of Dreams. Right. But is very dangerous. You must know him very well. If not, danger for you, Miss Kate Walker. I know him. I can make him come back. More probably you not come back. That is danger, Miss Kate Walker. Never mind. I'll take the risk. She's very confident. All or nothing, basically. What do you do to get inside dreams? 
Oh, that old yokel recipe. Can you make it? Not possible. Something missing. <laughs> oh, something's always missing. Which is? Fruit of the spirit door. What's that? I think I know what that Small is. red fruit of laughing tree. It's the berries, isn't the laughing it? Laughing tree. In that ice and wall. where can I find one of them? Laughing tree all gone. Laughing tree silent for long, long time. <laughs> laughing tree gone country of the ancestors. Laughing tree hidden but behind ice wall. there must be one left. Surely. <laughs> there is. Don't worry. If I want to lead Hans back through the long corridor of dreams, I have to find the fruit of the spirit door. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. See you later. <laughs> okay. Trying to get those berries, or the fruit of the spirit door, I presume, is actually what I was experimenting with before I started recording. So, uh, yeah. Right. Hi, Hans. My god! Hans! What a terrible state you're in! Are we just gonna have to leave him up there, suspended in this sort of makeshift bondage gear, or what? I mean... I guess so. Right, apparently there's a couple of items in here that I need to find to progress through the rest of the Yukul village, which is why I started the video here. So, let's, um, let's just examine absolutely everything. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but anything that can help would be much appreciated, of course. Obviously nothing to do with hands. I don't have any, like, I don't have a knife to cut him down. Um, the, the masks? Are they masks? Yeah? Possibly, yep. Right? Only the face of good spirit can bring chance. Ah! Face must make laughter, Miss Kate Walker. <laughs> I think I might know what that's for, but let's go back to that screen. Let's see, can I take the feather or the... I don't know what that is, to be honest. <laughs> another feather, another mask. No, so I've just got one mask. One with a big, cheesy grin on it. Okay. I think that might be for Oscar. That might alleviate a few of the fears the Yukul people have. That might help us with the train situation. That is my theory so far. I don't think that's going to help us with the berries. I could be wrong, but there you go. Uh, okay. So, I don't know if that's it, to be honest. Let's just continue exploring. I, I want to make sure I, you know, I've, I've uh, used everything here. Are we looking at the chair here, or are we looking at her? I think we might be looking at her. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Good. Very good. Tuk tuk. If I want to lead Hans back through the long corridor of dreams, I have to find the fruit of the spirit door. Is that it? If you find Laughing Tree, you find fruit of spirit door. Then bring back Hans. If Hans wants to follow you. <laughs> well, let's hope he's going to want to follow me. So yeah, it wasn't the chair I was looking at at all. Um, okay. So, did I... Yeah, I thought I did. There's uh, there's different ways to go. Um, I don't know which way I came from. I think maybe... I don't know. Let's go this way. I might be going back to the door, though. No, no, this is different. Okay. So here we go. What are we looking at here? Uh, there's, there's a table in front of me. Oh, what's this? It is... Take it, Kate Walker. Spirit of Night goes with you. Spirit of Night? What was that? A prayer wheel. I don't know how that's going to help, but okay, what is a prayer wheel exactly? It looks familiar to me, but I don't know what it's meant to do, or if it's meant to do anything really. Let's go back onto the table though, anything else? It's lots of feathers, yeah, another another mammoth tusk, which is like what half of the, the village is constructed out of it seems. Nothing else there on this side. I guess that's another little dream catcher or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, that might be it. Okay. Alright, let's back out of this, and let's head towards the door. Maybe there was something I missed on the way in? Because it was a kind of cutscene? Gotta... Hey, hey, we can use the Dreamcatcher. Not pick it up, but use it. We can poke it. Uh, okay. Is that it? Sure. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Maybe that's gonna do something to hands. Maybe we've just, like... Turned his dream into a nightmare or something. But, um... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we've got a Yukul mask, which I think is for Oscar, and we have a prayer wheel. And I think what we need are those red berries beyond the ice wall. So let's head back to the cave where I saw the frozen mammoths.
Okay, should be on the next screen. Alright, here we are. I think what we're being faced with here is the fruit of the spirit door. I think they're these berries here. And this is what I was experimenting with last time. Um, so there's a couple of things I know I can use around here. Um, the cork bung is one of them. The flask full of water is the other. So the cork bung we can use in any of the four holes at the bottom just to block them off. Um, so there you go. Can't use it in the middle hole. In fact, I can't use anything in the middle hole at all. And I can't use it in the top two holes either. But what I can use right there is the flask full of water. And that obviously allows the water to go down inside these uh, these tubes, these pipes in the ice. Um, and I think that's why I have the cork bung. What I tried to do last time, and failed to do actually, is I put the cork bung here. And I put the flask full of water in this hole here. So all the water came down on the left side. And the water level was about here, where my cursor is. But even though I went back with the empty flask and got even more water, and poured it in after I've already poured in one flask full, um, the water level would never rise above that, so the water level would never go down this tube and, like, hit these berries or knock them loose uh, and make them fall out of this hole, which I presumed that's what it was, was meant to happen. And uh, if I put the flask full of water in this hole up here, then, because I can't put the cork bung here, the water just comes straight out, so... I think the cork is in the right place. I think perhaps the water is maybe in the right place, but I think there's something missing, and maybe that something that was missing is the Eucle Mask or the Russian... No, not the Russian doll. Not the Russian doll. The Eucle Mask or the Prayer Wheel. I can't imagine how any of these are actually going to fit here, like, work here at all. I'm not really convinced I know how to do this. I was thinking maybe I was going to find the item I needed inside the Spirit Woman's place, but maybe there's something else I'm missing. Although I, I don't know. Uh, right. Hmm. Give me a moment to think about this. I'll experiment a little bit more. If that doesn't work, I guess we can go back up to Oscar and see if he wants to wear the mask. Right, I think I've gone through pretty much every combination here. I've loaded my save several times now, and uh, I, I think we're missing something. Uh, you might notice that this is different. I managed to drop the fishbone down this hole. Uh, I don't know what for. Maybe we're just using this as a bin at this point, but uh, that goes there, apparently. It doesn't go in any of the other holes. It just goes in that one there, in particular. Um, yeah, I've experimented with the, the flask. I've tried corks everywhere. The, the cork keeps the water in, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. It never reaches the level where the berries come down. So, I think what we're probably going to do is go back to Oscar, I think. Well, you know what, let's have a look at this. These are the perches, right? These are the things that the spirit woman was talking about. So, there's like five or six of them around the village and something goes here. Um, is it that it could be the mask or the, maybe the prayer wheel? Hey, hey, yeah. Right, that bit at the top's a hook! Okay! Right. So... Oh. We can use it. Oh, that's the music! Oh! Oh, and the half... That... Alright, so that simulates a call from a half fang, so the half fang comes along. Maybe the half fang was the missing piece I needed! We're just gonna give it another spin for some reason. Not really sure why. <laughs> He's yelling at me. I'm already here. Uh, oh, okay. So we can pick it up. Does he? Does he leave? No, that's that's his new home. That's where he was. That's where he's residing. Okay. Um. I can use something with him. What? Do you want the mask? <laughs> no, I'm fairly sure that's for Oscar. Still, do you want the prayer wheel itself? You want to carry it with you? No. Still got the slingshot. Don't know. I tried this? No. <laughs> I don't want to attack the thing. Let's go back here. Has anything changed? That little uh, rodent thing? Something has changed. And it is the little rodent thing. He's hiding. He's hiding from the Harfang. So he's involved with this puzzle, I think. Okay. Okay. I'm saying okay like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I guess I can still use the cork bungs here, right? So I can trap the little bugger in. I don't know if he can climb up here. If he can't, he's screwed. And I'm just being cruel at this point. 
Okay, so he obviously doesn't want to get eaten. Understandable, completely understandable. Uh, so maybe it's not the water that needs to knock the berries down, maybe it's him. He needs to go up somehow, maybe up this side. But, uh, I don't know how that's going to work, actually. So every time we look at this, does it happen? Right, and I have no control over my cursor right now. That was like a mini cutscene there, so... Um... If the Harfang wasn't there, I guess what I could do is I could put the cork in that hole there so he couldn't rush into the right side, and maybe he'd be forced to go into the left side to avoid being eaten. We're playing a cruelish kind of game on this little guide, to be honest, but... Maybe that's what we need to do. I, w I want to say that there was another perch nearby, because obviously we're going to need to lure the Harfang away. That's the thing that's keeping the rodent in the in the ice, so... Maybe on the other side of the cave, actually. Maybe it's not too far away. Yeah, so on the right side? Yeah, I'm fairly sure there was a perch here. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I got the prayer wheel. Yep, use it. And the Harfang flies across. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Now, um, I, I guess I want to pick this up because I need to lure him back to the left side again. But before I lure him back over, I need to use the cork bun. I think I'm working this out. After like 20 minutes of trying to use all the combination of items I possibly have, I think I may have finally figured this out. Uh, it's just, is this little guy up to the job? Let's see. So he's walking freely around here. He's not scared for his life. This is good. This is good, because now I can put the cork bung there. Hopefully he knows exactly what to do when I call the Harfang back over. <laughs> We're about to find out what's going to happen. This is good. This is good. Okay. So I, get, I think the spirit woman had the answer all along. So the prayer wheel goes there. Call him back over. I wonder if the Harfang's ever going to get pissed off that it's not a real Harfang. Uh, let's, let's take it with us just in case. I don't know if we need to move it again, to be honest. But let's see what happens to the little guy down here. That's it. Yes, that's it! Got up the left... Yeah, okay. He's gone up the left side instead of the right side. And now... We need to somehow get him up there. So, I know we can use the cork here. If we t Can we take the cork? Okay, he's not going to run back outside to run back in on the right side, so... Maybe we put the cork bung here. So we're setting up like an obstacle course for him? Maybe that's why the fishbone's there. Right, um... For my next trick, I might be trying to drown the little bugger. I feel really bad about this, but I think this maybe is what I need to do. That might be why we can use the flask full of water here. Hopefully you can swim. <laughs> oh, this is mean. Okay, he can swim, he can float. He's 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 alive. And he's right next to the berries. Great. Yeah, take some for yourself. Just leave me like one. That'll be great. Okay. <laughs> he uses the fishbone like a ladder. Oh man. Ah, oh, three berries. Are they all for me? I bet I'm going to take all three, aren't I? Yeah, all three of the dream fruit, and he doesn't get anything after going through that arduous obstacle course. My, oh my, oh my. Okay. Um, I, do we still have the flask and everything? Yeah. I can take the cork back, letting the water out. I've seen that like ten or so times now, but yes, I think we've finally got what we need. So does that mean we can access this uh, dream corridor now? And some pretty nice sort of music in the background, suggesting we're on the right path. This is awesome! Okay. Didn't leave anything behind? I don't know if I'm going to need any of these top three items again, but just in case, I'm going to take them with me. Thanks, Harfang. Thank you very much. Fantastic, right. Uh, I'm kind of spent. I kind of want to end the video here, but because of the amount of editing I'm going to do, let's, let's go on a little bit further. What are we going to do? Are we going to go back to hand straight away? I mean, he can probably wait a little longer, right? 
I kind of want to visit Oscar again on the surface. I want to see if he wants to wear the mask. Right, here we are, back on the surface, back near the train. Still can't use this, but maybe that's about to change. I might be able to get some help from the Yukal people if Oscar wears the mask. I can't think of any other reason I'd have the mask other than to make him seem more friendly and less alien, I suppose. So, uh, let's see if it fits, I guess. Hey, mate, uh, do I talk to you or...? Nope, that works. Hi, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I've got a favor to ask. But before that, let's talk about Hans. Hey, I think I found a way of bringing Hans back. Ah, very good, Kate Walker. Yeah. Okay, obviously he doesn't want to hear the details. This mask symbolizes some sort of friendly spirit for the Yukels. Right. Maybe oh, right, if yeah. I wear it, the Yukels would agree to help me pull the There was cable. a chapter about it in the book. I'd look totally ridiculous. Kate Walker, I don't like the idea at all. You better like Go it. Go on, Oscar. I'm only doing this for you, you know. <laughs> there you go. Might look a little there, bit silly, there. but... Hello, little Yukos. <laughs> no need for alarm. To me, at least, he seems more scary now. Metal. Tuk, tuk. Do they like that? Uh, have they seen that? I mean, there's a there's a big sort of statue in the way. Maybe I have to go over and talk to them. Thank you. To be sure, Kate Walker. Well, thank you very much, Oscar. Well, that should be it. I mean, he was leaning out and waving and everything, but I'm not seeing them rushing to help, so... Yeah, let's maybe go talk to them again. Or try to talk to them. I still don't have hands up and running again. I, no one to translate for me, but maybe I can point or something. Yeah, still can't use it. Uh, that way, yeah. Hey there, guys. Did you see my friend? Doesn't look quite so scary now, does he? Hi there. Kunukmak. Tuk tut. Took toot indeed. Yeah, let's talk about Oscar. Look, my friend Oscar can't be an evil spirit. Right. He's wearing this pretty good spirit mask. <laughs> He's smiling and everything. Tuk tut. Oh yeah, couldn't agree more. He looks <laughs> way less dangerous like that. Okay. Yeah, could you help? You saw. Oscar isn't dangerous. So will you help me now? Please. The cable is too heavy for me. Ganemuk. Ganemuk. Tuk tut. Is that a yes? Oh, it seems to be a yes. They're heading in the right direction anyway. Fantastic, guys. Just a little bit further. You can do it. Okay. It's all hooked up now. Do we need to go and inform Oscar, or...? Uh, may uh, I don't know. Let's do it just in case, but perhaps we might just be able to go back and, and use the cable to pull the to pull the, uh, the train down. But let's, uh, let's inform Oscar, I suppose. Or, yeah, let's have a look at it. It's all, it's all where it should be, is it? What's this? All right. Ah, oh, I'm tightening it. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty taut now. And yeah, it does go to that thing. Oh, it lifts it up. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I, I think the lever might work. All right, let's still, let's go tell Oscar about it. Uh, let him know what's going to happen. So he can prepare himself. I don't know what he'll need to do, really. <laughs> Just for a split second, I forgot he was wearing that thing. Hi, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Right, yes, the train. There we go. We can get the train moving now. But the spring is completely unwound, Kate Walker. Right. Then we'll get it moving some other way. 
Tally ho, Kate Walker. <laughs> I'll stay at the controls to apply the brakes on our descent. Thank you very much. I'm off now, Oscar. I shall await your return, Kate Walker. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think we've pretty much done everything to get the train down underground, haven't we? I think all we need to do is go back to those levers, and I think it was the right one we needed to, to pull. I think it was the right one. That's it. Was it just me, or was there, like, no track left? Hmm. Anyway. Brilliant! We got the train down, but... I don't know how we're going to continue our journey. I don't think there was any track to go, unless... I have no idea. Right, um... So that's on the platform down there. What should we do next? I suppose we've kept hands waiting long enough. I want to see how this is going to work. How this dream fruit is going to work. How I'm going to... Uh, get hands out of his dream world. So let's head back to the spirit woman. I gotta say, walking around this place is kind of hell. It's it's such a vast area, and there's no way to skip the transitions. So this is a problem that the, the previous game suffered with, and a lot of other point-and-click games suffer with, actually. You have to watch your main character run from left to right, or right to left, or back to front, and to my knowledge, there's no way of skipping it in this game, so... You know, walking from one side of uh, the village to the other can take like two or three minutes. And I've done it several times now, especially trying to figure out that dream fruit puzzle. Man, oh man, oh man. And I'm still not exactly sure what I need to do with this. That hasn't changed at all. Uh, any hints in the comments would be much appreciated. I'm still not exactly sure what I need to do with that. Hi again. Right, so do I give... Okay, I don't give hands the dream fruit. I guess... Let's talk about what I've done. I found the fruit of the spirit door. Yeah. You want go? No doubting, Miss Walker. If it's the only way to bring back haunts. <laughs> good. Very good. Tuk toot. Okay. So, oh. Ah. So I'm just going to get really, really high. Was that the cave? What the hell? What the hell is this? So, I'm actually inside the dream- I'm, I'm inside Hans' dream somehow? And this is the cave, right? This is just outside Valadolin. This is where he- he had his accident when he was trying to get the, uh, the mammoth toy? Yeah. Is he in here somewhere? No, hang on, the mammoth toy is, though. What on earth? I didn't think would sort of, like, literally go into his mind. Okay. Well, I've got the Mammoth Doll. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, um, I've been playing for quite a while now. That puzzle took me a long time to figure out, so this is where I'm going to end part 13. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll explore the rest of Hans's dream in part 14. See you then. Hans! Ah! Miss Kate Walker. What the fuck? <laughs>
Oh, that's the music! Oh! So he's involved with this puzzle, I think. Okay. Okay. I'm saying okay like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I think I found a way of bringing Hans back. Ah, very good, Kate Walker. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, he doesn't want to hear the details. <laughs> Just for a split second, I forgot he was wearing that thing. Hi, Oscar. 